Hello everyone. So this is a uh, late night account tour slash four star sale slash crystal opening of a five star. So <laughs> I thought I would um, yeah just do a brief account tour because I think I've got an interesting account. Um, the reason being is it's got such a low total base here at racing, um, but it's got reasonably okay pres prestige. So I've already told the story before, but I will say it again. So I used to play this game a bit too much and I thought, ah, oh, if I sell a lot of my four stars, then actually I might not really get so invested emotionally in this because I won't have that egotistical, oh, I want to constantly increase my rating, blah, blah, log in, you know, do arena so you can fucking, you know, just rank shit up. It's just, I didn't want that that part of the game to remain with me so I kind of like just completely abandoned it through just selling like what was it 200k of my team and I did that before again for 150k um so in total 250k um I've sold in the past and what is my rating now so that would take me up to near yeah nearish million um but obviously i'm happy with what i've done i did it for the right reasons um yeah i don't want to be logging in all the time just trying to focus on getting that bloody number up you know prestige i, I mean it's still important total base hero rating i did it because i just didn't want that aspect of the game in my mind um you know <clears throat> i'm looking forward to seeing a few new faces up here so we're going to see Aegon take Captain Marvel's place first, but over time, Captain Marvel will then take Blade's place, who hope, yeah, of course, Aegon will then overtake, so I'm just going to give Aegon all my signature stones to these uh, 200, and that'll be interesting to have Aegon up there with the old girl, I reckon they'll look nice together, and Archangel, well, quite frankly, I don't know who the fuck would want to go down and dirty with that, but... <laughs> maybe he's alright when he goes out of his metal mode like <laughs> he looked pretty attractive in the movie when he wasn't in his metal mode I tell you that but <laughs> so okay so let's have a look at the champions I've got let's just start the six stars go down six stars so Black Widow Nick Fury Human Torch Corvus Glaive Omega Red Sentinel, Morning Star, May and Thing. They're the only ones that I value, um, but I've got. I used to think I had really bad luck, and then suddenly I've got um, Sentinel, and I was like, yeah! Morning Star, I was like, okay, well, I'll fucking suck playing Morning Star, but either way, <laughs> I was kind of like, okay, good times. But then Black Widow, Clever, and I was like, boo! Nick Fury, I was like, ooh! Man thing, I was like, Cavalier Crystal, Human Torch, I was like, Poof. and then of course, Corpus Glaive and Omega Red, I was like, Zap it a ball. So, yeah, it was good times. All my six stars ratio 50% of, a, of a, a positive hit, I think, is great. Um, so, only got one six star at rank two, five stars I've got at rank four. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Not very many compared to many, but more compared to some. Um, thank God I didn't take Black Widow. Um, therefore, went to rank five because I pulled her as a six star. And uh, yeah, I do love her as a six star. I think she's awesome. And I will be looking to invest in suicides at some point when I can actually be bothered. Almost took Vision Arcus to rank 5, but I actually thought in the end, fuck it, I'm going to use Proxima a lot for Corpus and for Aegon. So I thought, look, you know, just logically, when are you going to be using Arcus? Like, not that often with the other chaps you've got going on. Like, for example, Captain Marvel's indestructible. How often is that going to save you? Often. Quake, how often is she going to save you? Often. Nick Fury, in with Quake. With that synergy, how often is that going to save you? Double what you just had. <laughs> and then it, Aegon, potentially, if you need to be like debuffing, mean boom, just bang him on there. 
as long as he's on there with either Proxima or Starlord, like you should just feel proper chill zone. And with the Quake and Nick Fury synergy, you're fucking super ass safe. You know, the, the idea of you losing your pump, but you have to play badly to do that, rather than just get, you know, stitched up and buy an evade on Labyrinth, for example, or something like that, you know, you can, you can get evaded a couple of times and you should be fine if you go in with, you know, Quake and Nick Fury synergy as well as, uh, yeah, Proxima or Star-Lord, so, yeah, Aegon beefed up with some reliability and some, like, for the noobs at least, I think it's a good synergy uh, team to bring in, to be honest. Um, so yeah, anyway, alright, much to do about nothing, um, I've got loads of these little suckers that I'm thinking of maxing out, my next max out will be Magneto, <laughs> which is going to be really fucking cool by the looks of it, um, I'm mainly just looking through, uh, forward to the ability accuracy reduction um, from, uh, yeah, from Metal Champions, that's going to be fucking awesome. Um, Red Guardian, bah, sick levels and it's just, yeah, I'm not, not ready to invest in them yet, Thing, yeah, some point defo, um, just quite a few on the old uh, radar, long shot, really want to, Doc Ock, really want to, obviously without any 4 stars I get fuck all ISO, speaking of 4 stars, let's have a quick look at them, and then we'll obviously get to the opening, dun dun dun, so, I'd had sold them all, so I only had Proxima Midnight left that I used for the Synergy and War. <laughs> but then I pulled it as a 5 star, and then it got to another point. I was like, fuck it, you know, well, I'm trying to crop my uh, 4 stars, which I'll have to do again soon, because they're all accumulating again. And I do not want... I Actually, I might let them accumulate, because um, it's not going to increase my rating too much. I'm not going to be too fast, but I will get ISO once I've re-accumulated most of the four star champs whereas now I say predominantly I don't get ISO when I get a four star open I just get a new champ <laughs> so it's uh, like look at all them Wee. <laughs> loads mate oh god I, I, I had most of them uh, but yeah so it was an interesting time that let's get to the main event yo dun 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 A little luck gauger. Let's see what the luck's at. Now my objective here is to get as much gold as I can. I don't care about units. I'm only joking. My objective was to get units, and I just got 45, so that's a win. I was just uh, trying to play reverse psychology with fate, and it worked. All right. Oh yeah, I need to sell a fucking four star. <laughs> Come on. So I usually just try and sell one that I've got to five star. At the moment, at principle, there's certain ones I want to definitely keep, no matter what. From now on, like name more, I'm trying to just get max sig. And I think, to be honest, Namor Max Sig 4 star should come in handy at some point as well. And even if I did, I wouldn't get into Max Sig, so. Um, okay, so I'll somebody that got the 5 star, okay. Alright. Bye bye. Have a good time in the ether. Alright. Okie dokie, so mutant and skill? Definitely not. Because there is one champ that I don't want. So the only real champ that I don't want is Ghost. So please Kabam. Fucking just any champ other than Ghost. I don't care who it is. I just don't want Ghost, okay? If you give me Ghost, I'll slap myself in the face. You hear me? Don't give me ghost. You give me fuck ghost, I will go bloody ape shit, mate. You hear me, Kabam? 
you're going to see a grown man turn into a monkey, do a little dance, make a little crazy, and go fucking nuts tonight if you get me a ghost. I don't want a ghost. Give me a fucking ghost. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to fucking go fucking do lally, bro. I will take that because that is helping my prestige and I'm getting ISO and it's not ghost <laughs> I thought that technique might somehow work um, but I think too many wins really in some respects in a row so I'll take that thank you for tuning in and I hope you have a merry good night good morning or good afternoon whichever applies